So uh, Paddles and Marine Raiders and the Marine Reconnaissance community hold a, a real deep connection and uh, a whole lot of uh, very personal and very uh, emotional type memories. So the, uh, the story behind it, the, uh, the legend is that the Marine Raiders in World, World War II were issued a paddle when they first got to their unit. Well, when it was time for them to leave, if their teammates thought that they were worth their salt, what they would do is steal the paddle and then uh, adorn it, wrap it, and decorate it, and uh, give that to them as a going away gift to show that you were worth your weight here. You weren't just another body, and you weren't just a number number here, uh, you know, another number here. You, you contributed to the team. Well, the tradition uh, or the you know, legend kind of uh, continued on originally with the Marine Reconnaissance community and then also, also now with the Marine Raiders. So the fact that we were able to build this paddle, um, it's more than just a naval tradition or just a symbol of our heritage. Um, it's us showing that these men truly contributed to this community and uh, their sacrifice is not forgotten. And it was incredible knowing that that paddle was hand carried, did not stop. If you look at the wrappings, the white on it, typically if you wrap a paddle with white paracord, you're kind of afraid to get it dirty. You're washing your hands, you're wearing gloves, and you're saying, oh, I don't want to make this thing dirty because it's going to be hanging on a wall. But if you look on this paddle now, it's kind of gross. You can see the salt, you can see the skin cells, um, but that makes it more memorable because there was, there was effort and work and sweat that was put into this, not just to make it, but to carry it across the 900 miles and bring these guys home.